What's up everybody, I'm Brian from i1 Tesla and today we're gonna be testing out Auto Park. Is it better? It's on this curb and it wouldn't go forward. This is my Model X. It is a 2019 Raven Performance Model X with the 3.0 hardware. So I wanna go out and I'm in a parking lot here and I wanna see if see if Auto Park is any better. You know, I have version, let's see, what's the software update? I have version 40.50.7. 40 I think that's the latest one available. I'm gonna try to see what it shows on the screen. I also wanna see how close that back bumper gets to cars when we back into them almost. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm gonna set a camera up out there facing down so we can see that and see if, what we can do to get into these scenarios and maybe see if we can get into really tight situations that you wouldn't think Auto Parker would work. So I'm gonna set up that camera now. All right, I have the camera up here. So you guys see it is a performance Model X and we are in a parking or a shopping area. It's not too busy. So I wanna try to find some areas that we can maybe park next to and I think what I'm gonna try is there's a trailer right there that I wanna see, there's a spot right in between that and the bushes. I'm gonna see if we can get in there or maybe next to it and see what pops up. So that is the main drive. So I don't, I don't think that one's gonna work, but there's a spot right up here with two cars, a three car gap in between. And let's see if the P comes up here. So no, that doesn't come up. So it wants it wants to have a spot where there's two parking spots next, or there's one spot in between two cars, like right over here. There's an SUV. We're gonna go slow and see if that pops up at all. That it did. So that's what we need to look for. This is a main drag, so I kind of don't want to do that right here. Let's go find a better parking area seems like there is a spot right here let's see if the p shows up it does we're going to put it into reverse and we're going to hit start now this is a big truck sitting right over here you see what it's doing on the screen it's really close to that Prius over there. It's still not very fast at all. Not at all. This is taking some time. It says auto park in progress. Trying to adjust itself. Really crooked here. Wow, that's actually really crooked. Let me get out and show you how crooked this is. It goes, the, it goes off of the cars next to it, but that's crooked on this side and is way crooked on this side. So I don't know why it did that at all, but let's go try to find another spot. This shows two cones there. It showed two cones there. There's one on the vehicle and one on the road. It just showed two right there. Funny. But it shows them both on the ground. Interesting. Now here's an interesting spot. You see there's a car right there. Let me zoom in. There's a car right there with a curb next to it. Now let's see if it detects the curb and allows us to park there in between the spots. And we're gonna be looking for the P It does. So we're gonna hit start and it's gonna allow us to park right here. And there is cars coming from all over and it's taking its own sweet time. It's really close to that charger. and it's able to park in between a car and a curb. See how close it gets to the curb. Hopefully it doesn't uh, 
curb my tire since it went at a weird angle last time and it looks like it's wanting to go into the curb. This is uh, not good. All right, I, uh, let me show you. I stopped that. Look at where it was going. It was going right for that curb. So that's an auto park fail. Now, if you look at this, I have the P there. Where is it wanting to park? Well, let's see. It's wanting to back all the way up into there. Why wouldn't it just back up right there? Doesn't make any sense, but you know, hey, it'll do it. It's gonna get really close to the other car. And that is really close. I just can't wait for it to see the lines and park in any parking spot instead of just in between two cars because it's straightening itself out pretty good here but it's still crooked. Let's show you. This isn't too bad. That's not too bad. It's actually not too bad. A lot better than the other one. So we'll have to say that is a, a win. These two vehicles right here, you see they're staggered a little bit. I wanna come in at an angle and see if it just sees the cars and wants to park at an angle in between the two cars and splits the difference. Never seen it done before. So let's just pull forward and see if it notices. See if a P shows up at all. And it doesn't. It notices all the vehicles, but it doesn't allow us to park anywhere. There's another curb area that it should pick up as a parking spot, and yes, it does. And let's see if we can do that going back in that spot right there up against the curb let's see if it doesn't hit the curb this time because that would be nice if it didn't hit the curb and it's about to it actually stopped right before the curb and it's stuck it's trying to go back there's a curb there, but it doesn't see. I'm going to have to stop. Let me show you. Let me get out and show you what it got stuck on. It's on this curb and it wouldn't go forward. So even though sometimes it allows it to park in between a curb and a car, it's not seeing that curb too well. And that, that time it actually rolled right up onto the curb. The tire was on the curb. I wasn't, I could see that it wasn't going to curb my rim. So it was right on the tire. It's, it still needs a lot of work. The auto park still needs quite a bit of work, but let's go to another parking lot. That's not as busy as this place. There's a lot of cars. I mean, this is a big, this is a fairly large shopping area. Um, and let's try it out where, you know, cars are sitting for a little longer. This should be a good parking lot. There's a lot of cars here, but a lot of people are parked here for a little while. That's a good spot right there. Let's see if it'll park there. It should. Now, what happens if we go way past? It still shows a P there. Let me put it in reverse. And it should go right into that spot way back, back there. So it's traveling a long distance to get there. So you would think that it would show, it would have a good angle of attack and do it without having to back up or stop and turn around or whatever, stop and uh, continue. So I'm gonna hover my foot over the brake because it is really, really close to that car. but it straightens itself out. And why did it stop its progress? It's stopping its progress. It won't allow me 
it, it, it canceled itself. If there's no cars, let me show you around. So why, why on earth did it cancel itself? There was wide open area. This should not have uh, canceled itself. And the door closed. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to call that a fail as well. Here is a curb area with higher bushes. Let's see if it'll go in here. Kinda gotta cut over a little bit to see if it will show up here. And it does, we're gonna put it in, we're gonna hit start. And let's see if it works this time. You see the bushes there are a lot bigger this time. <clears throat> so hopefully it sees the curb. Although there's curb rash right on there. It's getting nervous. It's moving forward. So it looks like it's gonna make it this time. Probably what's happening is some of the shadows are actually helping the car determine where the curb actually is. But we are going straight towards it. It's correcting itself again. And here comes a car. So that is uh, another fail. It's not looking too good for Tesla on the auto park situation here. This is again 3.0 hardware. Whether it's using the sensors more or maybe the two computers are, because remember the, the, the computer system for the 3.0 computer is actually two computers and they're talking to each other. Maybe they're arguing too much and it's getting confused. You see how these parking spots are just a little angle? Let's see if it'll allow us to go in there from either way. We get close to the cars and there's a double space there, kind of. There's a car, there's a truck there. This one's sticking out a little bit, but there is a space there. So we're gonna get out a little bit from it and now we're just passing it. See if the park symbol comes up. Nope, and it should. Let's turn around and see if it does it the other way. We're gonna come at this angle here. See if the auto park shows up. Oh, it does. It does show up. Nice. I'm actually surprised at that because I've driven by this and it didn't show up. And we're on a, we're kind of on a hill a little bit. So, and it is close over there. It is quite close. Now it's straightening up, thankfully, because that, that running board was getting really close. And it's gonna straighten up and back right in. And it looks like we're going really crooked here. I don't know why. Um, okay. <laughs> you saw that before uh, it went away. Let me show you what it actually is here. It actually did a really good job. Nothing like the picture on the screen. I think it was going off of this line because you see this is an angled line here and these cars are off a little bit. They're at an angle. So we are flush with these cars, but weird, weird nevertheless. So I have to say auto park is not really up to par yet. Uh, it goes really slow and that's, that's good because it's being cautious, but it's something I don't think anybody's really going to use. If it, if it would park in between the lines, if it would just see lines and park there, I think that's the next step. A summon feature, allowing it to go park itself somewhere. It doesn't need to have two cars, because myself, I would like to go, and I always park far away from everybody, so I would like to pinpoint a spot from the map that I can see that there's no cars, and pick one of those spots that are right there. So I, I think that's gonna be the next stage. It's gonna be using the cameras to see lines, and it would have to see the lines very well. I think it can, it just needs more data. It needs more time. It needs to bake a little longer. The inside's still a little doughy. 
like some of us. But anyway, it's, it's cool to see how things work and how things are going to work. Auto Park has not really gotten any better, but I really don't think they've put much effort into it as far as um, trying to get it to be better because it's too slow. It's you can park faster yourself. So it's really just a trick thing. Uh, a lot like what Summon is right now. It's still kind of a trick. It's a party trick. This is why we test. This is why Tesla tests, Tesla tests, to make sure things are really well. And that's why there's betas. This is, that's why Autopilot's a beta. That's why Auto Park is a beta. Make sure you're confident on what your car can do before you actually allow it to do something. So you don't have any accidents, so you don't have any scratched rims or scratched bumpers. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a like, share the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Stay awesome, stay positive, and make today a beautiful day. Mm -hmm.